Kurt's a freak. Bringing the energy to the team, I felt like that's what I needed to provide. It's freaking nature. He comes off the ball and he's, he's able to just cut it loose. He's got a really good, almost an elite first step. When he gets one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to make a play. I've never seen anything like that, especially when teams are game planning against him every week. That's really impressive what he did. I don't think people talk about it, you know, how smart he is as a football player too and, and what he sees and how he sets people up and you know there's a little bit of an art form to it and uh, you know it's fun to watch. Curtis is probably my best friend on the team and that was a really proud moment for me. He's not stuck on making the play and then not moving on to the next play. He makes the play and he's like, all right, next play. We got a guy that's got four sacks, and I think six on the season. Uh, that's a pretty good deal, man. It makes you makes it pretty easy to call on third down. No kidding, my goodness. Uh, a show-stopping performance last week by Curtis Weaver here on the Blue. Uh, we welcome in Tom Scott to the Bronco Roundup game day show, and the reason why is, well, there's yeah, a little why? bit of a history <laughs> lesson here. The last time it happened was on 1996. Coincidentally, it was against Portland State. And there's more coincidence. And there, and there, <laughs> there, there are more. Uh, well, yeah, that was the first year in 1A for Boise State. And the quarterback, which you guys found out this week for Portland State, was Eric Keesaw, the uh, wide receivers coach for the Broncos. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and he had a pretty good night that night. He, he did. 24 of 32 for 283 yards and three touchdowns. However, Chris Wing's four sacks were just part of a nine-sack night wow. for Boise State. Let's go ahead and skip ahead because we do have that old video, Eric Keesaw playing quarterback <laughs> for Portland State. It looks as funny as it sounds, Will. Tommy, what do you remember most about that game? Well, I remember that Boise State won, and uh, we, we didn't appreciate it for what it was at the time because they lost nine games in a row after that. That oh, was wow. the year Pokey Allen was away getting cancer treatment. So it was a bigger win than we thought at the time. Yeah. Uh, Boise State was brand new in 1A. Portland State was a good 1AA team, so it was a 33-22 to 22 game. Tony Hildy ran 60 yards for a touchdown. I remember <laughs> that. But... Um, but the, the, the defense won that game. And you asked why we brought you on today. <laughs> That's right, why right there. I will say, you go back to that game, too. It's funny, Eric Kiesel was saying that at halftime, they figured out a way that they were going to block Chris Wing. They are going to put an extra defender over on the left side of the offensive line. Came out in the second half, was looking for Chris. <laughs> he was, on he the was right over side. on the right side right. of the line, continued to wreak havoc. So, Tom, we appreciate you joining Thanks, us. Thanks, guys. And hey, what Thanks, do you think Tom. of the new uniforms really quick? Love them. Love them. Awesome. I, you know, I, I, I'm a traditionalist, but yeah. I love these unis. Yeah. yeah. Well, keep the votes coming in. It seems like everybody out there in Bronco Nation is a big fan. Coach Harson getting set to take on Air Force live on the blue. The Bronco Roundup game day show continues after the break.